Right. So yeah, thanks again, Bianca, and thanks to the uh, OpenEdX guy for inviting me uh, this morning. So I will talk about uh, a tool that we are developing at the uh, French Ministry of Higher Education and Research, and we call this, this tool the Works Magnet. So it's all about uh, accelerating uh, metadata curation. So at the French Ministry of uh, Higher Education and Research, we work especially on fostering and monitoring public policy. And since 2018, uh, we developed a national plan for open science. And so we wanted to have a tool to monitor and measure the evolution of open science in France, which we did uh, with, uh, without using proprietary uh, data sources, but only public uh, metadata. And to do that, we, we did a lot of uh, scraping and so on. At the time, OpenAlex was not there. And so big question was, uh, how do we uh, get the French publications? That is, the publications with at least one author affiliated to France. So we made up some um, custom tools to do that. Uh, there is a, a small demo on the right uh, to get the country from an affiliation. It seems easy, but it's not always that easy. So for instance, in Sorbonne University Paris, the word France does not appear, but it's French. And uh, on the other side, Hotel, Hotel Dieu de France, Beirut, Lebanon, the word France is there, but it's not French. So it's not that easy, but it's really feasible. And we did that a uh, few years ago. And the year after, we realized that we also need to empower all the French institutions to do the same thing. So we um, allow them to, to use all our infrastructure and tools to get their own open science monitoring system. So now we have more than 200 local monitors, which is great. But uh, the fact is most of the French institutions still had to uh, build their own uh, corpus of publications and data sets. And to do that, most of them uh, use uh, proprietary data sources. So we wanted to, to find a way to help them to make this work, but with uh, open data sources. In the meantime, uh, and much behind the open science monitoring uh, thing, we realized that we collectively, and not just us, the, the whole uh, community and the Bible, bibliographic community, realized that there was a need, critical need for free, high quality information on research. So it's not just about uh, open science monitoring. There is a very recent article in Science uh, that talks about the um, Barcelona Declaration on uh, Open Research Information. And they state, they state researchers need open bibliographic database, for sure. But in the same article from Science, we can also read a researcher in bibliometrics found that a large chunk of the thousands of articles written by OpenEdX for institution were incorrectly assigned. So what, what does it mean? It just means that just like proprietary data sources, OpenEdX also need human curation from metadata experts to improve the quality. And that's especially the case for affiliations, at least for, for France for sure. So that's why we, we built this tool called the Works Magnet. The idea is pretty simple. Uh, you just input a ROR or uh, just a, a term describing your, your affiliation. If you put a ROR, we will automatically get all the labels and acronyms from the ROR system. So I take this uh, example. And the tool will search in the raw affiliation strings stored in OpenLX, uh, all the strings of the affiliations containing these terms, plus all the publications matched to this ROR according to OpenLX. And then we present the information in a specific way. We have a big array, and each line, it's not a publication, each, li each line is a raw affiliation string present in OpenLX, and uh, for each of those, we, we have a column where we display what were the rows computed by OpenLX, and we show some examples on the right, 
And so for one given affiliation, a row affiliation string, uh, that could be one, 10, 100 publications on the line. And so uh, I, I took back the, the same example as the one the bibliographic expert from the um, science article mentioned. And so we have this uh, row affiliation string here, and we see that in OpenLX, it's matched to this row. Problem is that this is just wrong. So what do we do? Should we just go back to the good, uh, good old uh, proprietary data sources? Maybe not. The idea is just to fix it together. So in our tool, we can edit the, the rows uh, here and then send the feedback to OpenLX. So this, it will actually create um, an issue on a GitHub. So that we have a, a public GitHub, I will show you uh, this just afterwards, where we list all the feedback uh, from the community. And so in this uh, feedback, we list the row affiliation name as it is in OpenLX, the new rows, uh, just like the user said, the previous rows that are in OpenLX, and some examples. There is also um, a way to, to track the user. The domain is public, but the email itself is encrypted so that just us and the OpenLX guys can uh, get the email uh, of a person. We released this tool very recently. So beginning of May, we, we did some tests with a bit more than 100 uh, feedback from us. And then uh, two weeks ago, we presented this for the first time to the uh, French uh, users community. And since we are getting more and more feedbacks, so I think uh, now we are about 800 corrections requested. And you can look at all the corrections for now that are listed in this um, GitHub uh, repository. So in terms of uh, concepts, we propose to change the paradigm to go from a proprietary to an open paradigm for metadata curation. So in the proprietary environment, the curation was reserved for customers. Now, we propose to have this open to any user. In the proprietary environment, the curation consists of private discussions between uh, the tool provider and the customer and just uh, email or FTP data exchange. Now, the idea would be to have more transparent uh, request corrections. Before, in terms of tools, Mostly Excel was used. We propose to have more open productivity tool to facilitate curation for everyone. And maybe the most important point is the last one. In a proprietary environment, the metadata curation to the proprietary tool just reinforces the dependence on proprietary data and proprietary tools. Now the ID is more to make sure that the workforce of public employees, like uh, many employees in the libraries or in ministries, this workforce is used to improve open data quality that will uh, benefit to everyone. So you can test the, this tool, worksmagnet.dataesr.ovh, and contact us if you want. This tool was initially built for, for French users, but it can be used by anyone. No login, no nothing. Um, actually, the tools covers more use cases than just the OpenLX uh, raw correction. We also provide uh, ability to the users to, to build their own uh, publication corpus and also data set corpus. But for the data sets, uh, we have specific features specific to, uh, to French institutions. So that's why in this presentation, I just focus on the OpenLX uh, raw correction thing. We are still in uh, alpha version, so you may experience bug or issues. So we have a um, pretty limited budget on hosting. So it could be actually uh, quite easy for anyone 
you just take our code and redeploy it wherever you want. And last point, which is pretty important, is that for now we list all these uh, requests for corrections, but the full workflow will be completed only once OpenLX has ingested the corrections in the tool and flagged all the issues as closed or, or treated. Just let me uh, show you the, um, the GitHub issues that's there. And as you can see, yeah, so now, yeah, almost 800. The most recent was like 46 minutes ago. And uh, everyone can just uh, go and look at what the corrections were asked. And so for now, all these corrections are still open. And we just need OpenLX to, to treat them and ingest them into, the, into their tool. That's it for me. Left. Well, I stop now at 10. <laughs>